this time of year, as the spring calving herds are getting to the end of lactation, that the autumn calving herds are actually now starting to reach peak lactation in the next couple of weeks, cell count management is very important. It's important from a milk quality point of view, but it's also important from an animal health point of view because you now have a chance to really tackle some of your cell count issues and prevent them from getting out of hand and setting up the herd properly for the next couple of months when it comes to cell count. The basics still apply, wear your gloves, use the right amount of the right teeth disinfectant post milking, change your cluster liners every 2,000 milkings. For some herds, that is now every four or five months and no longer every six months. Make sure the parlor gets its maintenance done, but do your daily checks every time you start at the parlor. Check is the vacuum pump holding the pressure in the sort of 48 to 50 kPa range and are you hearing any strange noises, any squeaks and squawks and so on. And obviously, look at the cell count records for your herd. Your bulk tank records are a good starting point. If you're not milk recording, you will still receive a co-op performance report on ICBF, but you can also look at your bulk tank cell count records on your Clearlawn Farm Life account. And you can track it for the last two years even to see what trends are and where you are in relation to last year. If you are milk recording, if you have individual cow cell count records, go through the cows on the red and the amber list. Look at which cows are actually causing trouble and if there's anything you can do about those cows. And that could be treating them, it could be drying them off, or it could be segregating them out and milk them last so that at least they don't have a chance to spread the infection to all the other cows who don't have a cell count problem at the moment. Once you can manage those things properly, you'll have a better handle on controlling how the cell count moves in the herd and you may be able to bring down the bulk tank gradually over time. Autumn milking and autumn cell count management is all about just attention to details again. It's the side of the year where you might think it's okay to let your cell count slip up, but it's really important to keep your cell count at less than 200,000 ideally. Use your milk recording results and identify your high cell count cows. If you identify those, you can keep them out of your herd and stop your spread. Because if you don't stop the spread at this side of the year, you're going to have problems when cows calf down. The other things to use at this side of the year are the culturing services from the lab. If you actually send us in, we use the blue bottles for the culturing packs. If you send us in a couple of these from your herd, ideally about eight for a hundred cow herd, we'd be able to look at the type of bacteria that are in the cows and causing problems, but also most importantly, what antibiotics are most suitable for you to actually use on your herd to actually combat mastitis and to look at your dry cow therapy. The whole secret to autumn calving and liquid, liquid herds and even nowadays live milking on through the winter for cream remote suppliers is actually keeping your stress levels low, keeping your eye on the ball and the details and one of those big ones is mastitis. If you don't have mastitis problems, you're not treating cows, you're not keeping cows out of the tank, you're not running into bother with antibiotics, what you're doing is really keeping your herd right for your springtime. Don't forget to contact your milk supply manager. They're going to be able to put you in touch and get some kits out to you. They'll also be able to come out and give you the guidance and go through milk recording reports with you, show you how to use a CMT. Most of all, they're there to just support you through working through any cell count issues or mastitis questions that you have.